Hi everyone, it's Jenny from Jen Skinner Art. I hope this um, video finds you all well. Um, I have a little bit of a problem in that I like to water my PVA glue down and put it into a fine tipped bottle so that I can get to small little areas. And um, for example, if I was wanting to you know glue down a fine die cut I can just run the glue around um, the small tiny pieces however everything that I'm trying to plug this little hole is going rusty even though they're all supposed to be um, stainless steel so I've these um, I've tried these pins I've tried um, different sorts of pins and then I even opened up a paper clip and tried that last night and um, it went that rusty in just overnight so none of those are working and then I had a thought oh in my jewelry making I've got um, some stainless steel backs for earrings so I thought I might give that a go and see if that's going to work. So the best and the strongest glue I found for jewellery making is the E6000. You can get it from um, news agents sometimes but mostly um, you'll find it at hardware stores. Now I thought because I like lady beetles I'd try and make a lady beetle topper just slip that on and <clears throat> in my little mug here <clears throat> I have a whole collection of lady beetles and because I'm rather partial to pink I was thinking of maybe putting a pink one on um, although the red is the red's nice. Um, I might keep one of each. So I've got a couple of different um, ideas. Alright, so that one is glued on and I think I might go the red for that one. Being Christmas time sort of think red and green go together. Right. So I'm going to um, put a tiny little bit of tape on that just to hold it all in place. And then on the back here I'm going to it's already started leaking out on the back I'm going to put my earring holder so there you go that's for a stud earring now I'm going to slip that in here take that off so I'm going to see how that works There we go. So that one's done. Now the other one that I wanted to do was for the top of um, my Sullivan's glue. Absolutely love this glue. Use it all the time. And even though I painted the top with nail polish, I still tend to lose this tiny little cap. Like it's really small. So I'm going to have a go at making it larger with the buttons too and this little button I've got I don't know if you can see it has um, an indent so I'm going to make that the bit that goes directly on the cap so I'll put that one down okay then I'm going to put my next button to make it a little bit bigger 
on top. Then this button, I'm sorry I'm not in the shot, this button goes actually inside this one. And last of all, So I'll let those dry and then when they're all set um, we can come back and have a look and see how they're going. So something quick and easy, hopefully it works and um, I'll let you know. Have a great day, bye. Okay, here's the follow up and hopefully you'll be able to hear in my voice that some time has passed and I've gotten over my bronchitis and my asthma and I'm feeling much much better but to the real purpose of this update is to check out how the toppers have gone this one here has not missed a beat it's the one that I put the earring back on the button it has not rusted, it has not come off, it has been absolutely wonderful. This one here is where I glued the button onto the tiny little cap and I used it for a number of weeks before it actually peeled off. Part of the reason may have been because the top of the lid had been painted already but just to um, make sure that it remained strong and that that didn't happen again I actually added a whole host of glue to the lid and to the bottom of the button and then I wrapped it in ribbon I don't know if it's going to focus for you but I wrapped it in ribbon and then I wrapped it in string and I used the E6000 and to top it all off no pun intended to top it all off, I actually uh, added um, the boot, 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 boot. All right, so this one here needed some modifying. What I did was wrap the initial tiny little cap that you saw earlier with ribbon and also with string and I adhered the lid and those all together using the E6000 but to finish it all off I then added a few dobs of super glue so that all of this has become like one unit attached to the button so that's been like that now for a number of weeks and it hasn't shown any sign of coming off so I hope I've solved that problem and definitely the low al allergenic stainless steel um, earring backs have been absolutely perfect all right it's now post Christmas so I hope that your life is settling back down and you're finding some time for creativity and you're feeling refreshed and enjoying the start of 223.